This is Ryan Ham, and I am going to show you the Remington Model 51 pistol. Show you a few things about it, uh, how to disassemble it. Uh, tell you a little bit about the history. This is not going to be a comprehensive video. I uh, just wanted to cover some things that I don't think have been covered very well on YouTube or the internet or really anywhere. So well, let's get started. This is a Remington Model 51. It is a pistol. Uh, developed by Remington around 1913, I think, is when work actually began on it. Uh, designed by a, a gentleman named John Douglas Pedersen. He worked for Remington um, uh, starting uh, in the early 1900s. Uh, his main job was to, uh, uh, he, he was a chief designer. He designed guns like the um, uh, Remington Model 12, the Model 14, of course, this a Model 51. He also uh, designed uh, a couple of shotguns, the Model 17 he helped design, uh, although John Browning was the uh, driving designer on that one. And uh, he also designed a few gu guns for the U.S. Army, the uh, Patterson Rifle. Uh, being the the most, um, uh, I guess, obscure one, the uh, where you've most likely heard his name is uh, the, uh, something called the Pedersen device, which was a um, it was really just a pistol that you could load into the chamber uh, of a uh, Remington uh, or any other maker 1903 rifle, a bolt action rifle, and this essentially encompassed everything except for the barrel. Um, you slid it in like it was a bolt. You put a, a, a large capacity magazine on it and it turned the 1903 Springfield into a semi-automatic rifle with um, a very small caliber cartridge. Um, not quite as powerful as the 30 carbine, uh, but in that general realm in that with that general idea unfortunately the Pedersen device never went to war they, they had intended to use it in Europe but uh, we won the war earlier uh, which is probably a good thing okay so on to this pistol uh, John Pedersen uh, good designer you, I'm, I'm a fan there's a book that the Remington Society of America is putting together that you should see soon and uh, hopefully uh, that'll uh, that'll give people a lot more information than is currently out there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to safety check this weapon, and right now the, the uh, hammer is down, so I will uh, cock the hammer by pulling back the slide. You have to have your hand on the grip in order to do so. There's a grip safety here that will pop out when the hammer is, uh, is cocked, so let's see what happens. So, okay, so it is cocked. You could probably see in there, uh, I've already safety checked it before the video, but there, there is no ammunition in there. Um, and then you can see the, the uh, grip safety pops out. So that grip safety has to be in or you cannot pull the slide back. I'll demonstrate that. So the slide will not come back. You could also lock that grip safety in position by flipping the, the slide lock. Uh, the safety lever up and so since the grip safety can't go back or go in the slide can't go back so it is completely safe you notice I've left the magazine in here I'll take the magazine out it's probably bad form to safety check the gun so I'll, with the magazine in so I'll do that again and you should be able to see still empty okay so completely safety checked completely safe now, I'm going to just jump right into disassembly, um, but I'll say this. I do not suggest that anybody disassembles their Remington Model 51 unless they're an expert. Now, I'll say that again. I don't suggest that anybody disassemble their Remington Model 51 unless they're an expert. It's mostly a collector's item. It should be used mostly for that these days. Uh, take it to a gunsmith, have them do it. 
uh, or just don't disassemble it. You can clean it uh, pretty well uh, and make it pretty safe to clean uh, without disassembling it. And I'll show you right now how to do that. Very simple. Push in on the grip safety. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the slide back. My hands are going to get away in the way. I'm going to pull the, the slide back. And with the slide all the way back, I'm going to release the grip safety. And that'll lock the slide to the rear. So it's difficult to do. So I'll do that. I'm going to pinch the gun uh, like this. I'm going to push in. And pull the slide back. Let go. And then it'll lock back. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that too many times. It uh, takes a lot of grip strength. I wouldn't suggest you do it <laughs> uh, any more often than you have to. So uh, what I've done is I've, I've pushed the lever up so you can't you can't push the grip safety. This gun is about as safe as it's going to get for cleaning. And at this point, uh, you can run a patch down the barrel. Uh, you can clean the, the, the bolt face there. And uh, you can also uh, uh, clean uh, the locking lug on the bolt and do pretty much all the maintenance you're going to want to do to it. And uh, yeah, so there we are. Now I'll demonstrate what happens when you push the slide release in the slide will, will uh, slide or will go forward and it would be ready to fire if there'd been a cartridge in the uh, magazine if there'd been a magazine inserted uh, so get the magazine out of the way all right the next step is now the hammer is cocked the slide is forward you know the hammer is cocked and this is a hammer cock uh, cocking indicator if the lever pops out the lever will not pop out unless the hammer is back. Uh, 